Hi, I'm Tim O'Neill, Kuriyama Marketing Manager. I have with me today Jim Divis, our Alpha Goma Industrial Hose Product Manager. Jim has over 40 years of industrial hose knowledge, and he's been with us for how many years now, Kuriyama? Three years. Three years. Jim has been handling our Alpha Goma line, and he's here today to tell us a little bit about the different hoses and uh, where they're used. So, Jim, where do we start? We're going to start with the uh, our top 10 selling hoses that we have on the Alpha Goma line. Our first hose we have here is in the water suction discharge line. It's called T202. We have nice new labels on all of our hoses, so you'll notice those. It's a very economical water suction and discharge hose, very flexible, yet still very durable. Competitively priced. This has an EPDM tube and cover, which you can tell by... Our hose compound chart here is very, a good general purpose polymer, good for, it's very excellent in weathering and ozone and abrasion resistance, so it's very economical to use. Um, mostly a general purpose type hose for uh, the ag area, the construction area, and irrigation. Our sizes that we have available in this are 1 inch through 12 inch ID, and all sizes 150 PSI, and it's full suction type hose. That's the reasoning for the helical wire inside. So the famous T202, uh, EPDM hose, general purpose, water suction and discharge, good UV resistance, good overall general properties. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Even some diluted chemicals we can use with this also. Very nice. What else do we have? We have a uh, T605. This is in the petroleum market. We have an MBR tube in here that is able to handle the petroleum oils, uh, fuels, gasoline, diesel fuels, and any kind of additives that are uh, used for the tank truck market. It's very flexible also, like the T202, 150 PSI. The size ranges, we start at a very small 3 quarter inch ID and go up to 8 inch ID. It's, a, a, again, a very versatile hose in the, in the tank truck market. Okay, so the T605, heavy-duty oil and gas type mm -hmm. hose. All right. Um, and uh, as you mentioned, it's a nitrile tube, so excellent oil resistance and good general properties. Right. All right, what's next? Our next hose here is a little heavier duty. This is our called our T763 dry delivery hose. This has an NBR tube, a natural over tube, quarter-inch mm -hmm. tube thickness, for sand, slurries, grains, dry cements, anything that's dry, usually under about 75 PSI. Very, very popular in the frac market right now um, for any kind of uh, sand, water, and diluted chemicals also. The major size that we use in this is 4-inch ID. However, we also have it in 4.5 and 5-inch and ID for additional applications. So no wire, I can see, so right. that would be pressure applications yes. only. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can see it's got an incredibly thick uh, natural rubber, and they also call it a gum rubber yes. tube. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see by our chart here, natural rubber, highest abrasion resistance of any of the elastomers, excellent physical properties, but not oil resistant. Right. Okay. Our fourth in line here is called T253 AA. This is a water discharge hose, a little different than the T202. It's just for discharge. This also has an EPDM tube and cover, as we have here by our compound list. Good general purpose polymer, good for heat, ozone, and weather, but again, not oil resistant. It's used also in the construction, the irrigation, and the ag markets. We start at inch and a half and go to eight inch ID. Um, we recently improved this a bit by going with a thicker tube. Um, there were applications that demanded a higher pressure, more durable hose, and Alpha Goma was able to come through with a little thicker tube that we can now use on this hose. And that's T253. Okay, T253. So um, kind of like the T202 without the wire, basically? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so T202, discharge only, T253. Okay. All right, moving on. Now we get into the pretty hoses. This is a uh, T140 AK. This is a little heavier duty. It's braided. Now we're talking about steel wire. It's getting more like a, uh, like a hydraulic hose now. This is a high pressure air hose for qu quarries and mines and construction applications. It has a very high tensile steel wire in it to give you working pressures from 450 to 600 PSI. Our size range is anywhere from half inch to four inch ID. And we use the yellow cover for easy identification. It's much easier to see on the ground rather than, a, say, a black hose or a red hose. So it really sticks out. And it's a very versatile and durable hose for these very abusive applications. And uh, what's the tube material? The tube material in this is SBR, which is primarily good for abrasion resistance and compressed air hose. This is the line that we put this hose in. Okay, and the pressures were higher on this one, you said? Yes, anywhere from 450 to 600, depending on the size. Okay, compressed air, T140. 
T604 is our next in line. This is a uh, considered an SAE 100R4 uh, suction and return hose. Very low pressures, um, more, more for a return in suction oil lines. It actually has half the bend radius of our competition out there, which is a standard 100R4 um, SAE specifications. Handles a wide range of oils, glycols, lubricants, crude oils, diesel fuels, and also water. Uh, we go anywhere from uh, the temperature range we actually start at, uh, our, our, our upper temperature range is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Our size range is anywhere from three quarter to two inch ID. Okay, so this is, uh, again, a nitrile hose? Like T604, a T604, this like is a nitrile. Right. So how is this one different from the T605? It's uh, actually, uh, it's, they're primarily very close to, to the same applications, actually. This one is mm -hmm. published with SAE 100R4 on it, and we're actually doing it with the 100R5. Uh, the T605 can handle diesel fuels much better than, than the, 100, than the uh, 604. Okay, so, so it's primarily a, diesel fuels. So it's a diesel fuel hose as compared to the T605, which is more of a general purpose right. oil hose. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. Thank you. You're welcome. Our next one in line, these get to be a little bigger applications also. Uh, this is our T902. This is a hotter blower hose. Um, this is a special application that's anytime you see a tanker truck on the highways and that this hose is used to blow hot air up to 350 degrees into the tanker and making whatever your product is in there fluidizes it and easier to unload so you'll always see these on any tanker trucks you'll see a eight to ten foot piece sitting behind it the cab primarily. Uh, primarily three and four inch ID seem to be the big using uh, big usages of the sizes. Uh, again it handles high temperatures up to 356 degrees. Heat resistant, it's made out of EPDM tube and the cover and it working pressures are usually around 150 PSI. Uh, it's, this is a very high quality very durable hot air blower hose that we have in our line. Okay so 365 degrees for heating up tank right you could have jelly or something like that or molasses in a tanker truck and after a thousand miles of driving it solidifies and what the hot air blower hoses blows hot air in there and fluidizes anything that's going in there making it easier so they can pump it out of the tank probably use a lot of that in chicago in the winter yes we do yeah. <laughs> hopefully <laughs> going right down the line here t750 is our next hose <laughs> Um, very similar to our uh, material handling hoses, this is a four-ply sandblast hose. We are now in, this is currently 150 PSI, but we are now going through upgrades of upgrading it to 180 PSI, and then it's going to have a more abrasion-resistant tube. So we're in the middle of, of running with those improvements. This is designed to convey any kind of sandblast and shot blast. Our sizes available are three-quarter inch through two-inch ID. And coming here by the compound, it also has a natural or gum rubber tube for abrasion resistance primarily. Okay, so highest abrasion resist resistance, sandblast tube. So this is for sandblasting bridges, water towers, things like that. Very thick tube yeah, I on it because of the pressures and because of the material going through it, it abrades away very quickly. And we're going to 180 PSI. Yes, we are. And better abrasion resistant tubes. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now we get into our green chemical hose. This is a T505 OG, it's called. This has a cross-link polyethylene tube compound. We can handle about 90% of the chemicals that are out there today with this particular hose. These sizes are anywhere from three quarter inch to four inch ID. And we actually make it a green cover for easy identification. It's a lot easier to see on the outside and laying on the ground. And the working pressures are about 240 PSI, which beats some of our competition that's out there currently. But again, a very versatile hose handling, again, about 90% of the chemicals that are out there today. And a nice new label as we have on all the other hoses. All right, so now we're getting into the chemical hoses I can see. So uh, as opposed to some of the other hoses, uh, polyethylene, that's actually uh, thermoplastic, right? As opposed it is, to an elastomer. it is. It's a, it's a cross-link uh, PVC mm -hmm. material primarily. Okay. So. so unlike a rubber hose, it's less porous, more resistant to chemical permeation. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Our next two hoses actually are uh, primarily the same 
we have a T509. That's why I group them the same. T509 and Tim, Tim has the T509. I have the T519. These are very high temperatures. You're talking about up to 200 degrees chemicals. And it has a UHMW compound that's used in the tube. That's ultra high molecular weight. However, these hoses also meet food grade FDA type requirements. And also you can put diesel exhaust fluid to through these. So they're a little bit more than just chemical hoses. Um, we, these handle, because of the UHMW, handle about 98% of the chemicals that are out there. So now we're increasing in our chemical resistance now. Uh, size range three quarter through six inch ID and we make it an identifiable blue cover for industry use. Uh, so a lot of the UHMW hoses that you see out there will be blue in cover which differentiates it from our cross-link polyethylene green cover. So this is a step up. All right, thank you. So 505, that's our cross-link polyethylene, handles 90% of industrial chemicals generally. Uh, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, 509, 519, uh, higher grade, also a thermoplastic as opposed to an yes. elastomer. Mm -hmm. For uh, abrasion also, it can handle some a mild abrasion resistance also. Abrasion resistance and food, res uh, food, food contact FDA. safe. Mm -hmm. And DEF suitable also, and diesel DEF. exhaust fluid. All right, a little bit of everything. All right, so is that, that brings us to the end of the Alphagoma Top 10. <laughs> That's our Top 10. So that is the Top 10 Alphagoma hoses you need to know. So I see we've got a couple other uh, hoses here, and you may notice Jim and I have been wearing some uh, special shirts here today with uh, the Brute on it, with our little Brute dude, as we call him. <laughs> Uh, we recently came out with a new uh, brewery hose. Can you tell us a little bit about that, sure. Jim? Uh, what we have here is a uh, brewery hose just for breweries and microbreweries, and we also use it for spirits and also for wine. Um, this hose, we started from 1-inch ID, and we go up to 4-inch ID right now. It has a chlorobutyl tube on the inside, white, FDA-approved. It's a high-purity tube which does not impart any taste or odor on your application. On the outside here, and the red cover is actually EPDM, which gives you some abrasion resistance. And as Tim can demonstrate, it has a very flexible look to it. And it's also, um, it's also while giving you 150 PSI. Very lightweight, very flexible. It has about 26% lighter weight than the competition out there. And that's what's really helped us out there outside in the applications. Also, we, uh, in addition, we have some sanitary fittings, which also come from Kiriyama, and it's a good complement to the brute hose. Jim, this is a really impressive hose. Anybody who uh, we put this in their hands just absolutely loves it. It is literally night and day flexibility compared to what's out there in the market. And a lot lightweight, uh, reduces heavy lifting injuries, which is obviously very important. And uh, as Jim mentioned, we do have a line of 3A uh, sanitary couplings, and you can order uh, if you uh, 3A uh, certified uh, assemblies. It's very good. It's done very well for us. Yeah. And uh, if you'd like to know more about The Brute, he has his own website. It is thebrute.com. So I see we've got one other hose here. Yeah. One other hose I'd like to uh, just introduce to you is a uh, T704 slash T714. We're in the middle of changing the name on it. And what this is is a uh, sewer industrial vacuum truck application hose. It has a pure gum rubber tube about a quarter inch thick. And what that is good for is primarily abrasives and ma heavy duty material handling. Um, primarily we, the reason we came out with the boomer was to go on the sewer trucks. And what that does is the, the hose in the front of the truck is about eight inch ID, about 10 foot long, and it goes underground into the sewers and cleans out whatever is in there. And that's the primary focus that we've had with this hose. Uh, we start at two inch ID, we go up to 10 inch ID with this. We can make it in cuffed ends, and what that is, what Tim has here is a wire braid at the end, but the little the ends at four to seven inches, we will not put any wire in, and the customer is able to insert it over the pipe and then clamp it. Very durable, very versatile, and this will um, roll into the top 10 hoses by the end of 2019. Yeah, I've heard nothing but great things about this one. As you mentioned, it, um, gum rubber tube, very abrasion resistant. It's got a very thick tube. Yes, it does. Uh, very durable wire. I, um, and uh, It still has some flexibility to it, too, the longer lengths than that. And as you said, this one's really taken off for us from us well. and uh, should be joining the top ten very soon. Well, thank you, Jim. That was very educational. I think we all know uh, a little bit more about the uh, vast array of Alpha Goma hoses. So uh, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.